Hello, Kofanya. I should say, <laughs> look, I have cat ears and they're sort of kind of attached to my head. Sort of, if you believe. <laughs> Pretend that they're not mm, moving around the way they shouldn't be. <clears throat> Hello, hold on, I might have a cough drop. My throat is still kind of scratchy. I don't know. I think that's probably just what happens. <laughs> Which, I mean, I feel better pretty much, but... <laughs> nothing a little cough drop cannot help. Um... Hello. Hold on, y'all. Today, we are playing this new game called Stray. It came out today. I don't really know anything about it. I actually learned about it. <laughs> talking about it they were like oh my god we've been waiting for this game forever and it's finally coming out tomorrow and i was like oh honey <laughs> i hadn't heard of it but i immediately wanted to play it and you know what it's out today so why not play it let me stray here <laughs> but i'm a little bit scared because it feels like it's going to be sad. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not, but it has those vibes. And I don't know already, like, the fact that it's cats is making me feel very emotional. <laughs> like, even just being on this menu screen and the cats are like... Meow, meow. Um, but yes, I don't know. Why not play it? Got <laughs> a recover from yesterday. Yes, actually, <laughs> I was. I wanted to watch some of the other perspectives during the fight, and <laughs> I did. And I think I was living in my own world as soon as the fight started. Look, look at this spooky cat eyes. Um, I saw. I watched Bay. I watched how Bay died. I saw that she died by standing in the. In the dragon fire. I don't know. And then I was I was reading some comments and people were talking about like being the the raid leader in like World of Warcraft. <laughs> it was making me laugh because it's like <laughs> it's like the raid leader is like don't stand in the fire! The fire hurts you! Don't stand in the fire! And then everyone is standing in the fire and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I feel like this is just, this is just what happens. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It was making me laugh. <laughs> I feel like... I got a glimpse of what it's <laughs> what it's like to be the raid leader. <laughs> I don't know, even just not thinking about it, it's making me laugh. I don't know why it's funny to me. <laughs> just to be like, don't stand in the fire. You shouldn't stand in the fire. <laughs> the fire hurts you. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, why is it making me laugh so much? <laughs> oh. 
it's true though it it makes it way more funny when it descends into chaos like this like please, shoot the crystals shoot the crystals <laughs> the crystals heal the dragon oh, oh. i don't know i kind of want to fight the wither but we have to be careful with the wither because the wither can like level your whole server so be careful what crystals <laughs> And I was like, did I not explain it well enough? Maybe I did. <laughs> Got to explain it very thoroughly. Ina said she'll fight with the me, with the wither. We should get a team together. It'll be fun. I think we could spawn it like, you know when in the netheroni we made those really long, um corridors and then it like leads back to the overworld i feel like we could spawn it there that's like thousands of blocks away from anything anyone has built so it should be fine right the wither can't travel that far right <laughs> like thousands of blocks i don't know but yeah maybe we can make an arena or something what if we made an obsidian arena i know you can cheese it but i don't want to cheese it because i think it'll be more fun if we struggle and die <laughs> Spawn the warden? Can you spawn the warden? You can fight the warden, but you're not supposed to. It's supposed to just kill you. I don't know. Anyway, well, we'll think about the warden after we fight the wither, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I have, a, like, I have good gear now. Well, I didn't realize I was the only one who didn't have diamond anything. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I made... This extra set of diamond armor in case anybody wants to wear it. I know, you guys, this is your first time fighting the dragon. So maybe you want to have some extra gear. And then everyone rolled up already with their diamond armor. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I am, I'm living in the, in the caveman era still. <laughs> That's fine. Now I have my own enchanted diamond armor. <laughs> All right, let's play this game. Could talk forever. We'll talk more in Marine the Super Chats, but... New game. I know nothing about this game. Why is my mouse on the screen? I'm using a controller. Rainy. Sorry you hear my cough from. <laughs> I feel like I should turn my light off. Oh. For the cinematic experience. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now this is cinematic. <gasps> the kitty cats. You know, yesterday I was watching Ami's super chat reading and she was talking about warriors cats. And then it made me realize this game is basically warriors cats the game. Oh my god. Look, we're little fire paw right here 100 percent. this is fire paw was that his name <laughs> fake warriors fan i read that game so read that game wow i read those books just so much <laughs> but isn't this basically the plot of warrior cats warriors also did you know the author of that book is not real Aaron Hunter is fake, like Shakespeare. She doesn't actually exist. In reality, she is like two women who write the books together, I think. <laughs> I think that's cool, though. That would be fun to do. <laughs> Imagine they're like best friends and they're writing together about cats. <laughs> Probably easier to write a book when you have two people. Well, Shakespeare wasn't real. I don't know. I've heard that about Shakespeare too. That Shakespeare is actually multiple people. But I don't know if it's confirmed either way. Well, I don't know if they can because it's so old. But I've heard Shakespeare is actually multiple people. And did not exist as a single entity. Shakespeare is two cats. In a trench coat. 
Okay. Oh! Scratch the kitty tail. Oh, cute. Oh, we're annoying this cat. This cat looks like snail. <laughs> oh, it looks like snail. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if I can handle this game. Hello. Oh, are we playing or fighting? I think we're playing. Look, I'm rolling onto my back to show my submission. <laughs> the cats do look a little bit funny <laughs> sometimes. A little bit soulless. But they're very cute. Hello. Oh. Oh, cute. Cute. Snuggle, snuggle. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because they went for a more realistic kind of cat. Can I jump? Are we going to do some kitty parkour? Look at this! Look how he walks! Oh my goodness. Look how fast his little legs move! It's so cute! Oh... Um... Oh, is it time for Ben? Sorry, I was ready to peace out. Look, we're all sleeping together. I need to adopt every cat. I need to... Not to be dramatic, but I'd take a bullet for those cats, me too. Like I said, if... If this game turns out to be sad, I will never emotionally recover. It's the, at the end for me. Which I feel like it's gonna be sad, but I don't know. As long as it has a happy ending. <laughs> oh... Hanya? <laughs> that cat is looking out across the way. What do you see? You see, my son, all this kingdom, everywhere the light touches. We own this land. The way they look at the camera makes me feel like they're really watching. Oh, is this cat language? Inside the wall. Oh. This game is like... 13-year-old me's dream. <laughs> if this existed four and a half billion years ago, I would be living... This is all I wanted. It's basically warriors. This is the near universe. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Near but cats. How's the audio, by the way? Press B to me. How? Oh. Oh my goodness! Boop. <laughs> Audio good? Okay, good. Some of these meows sound kind of painful. This is so cute! This cat is like snail! Even the eyes are the right color. It's Snail! It doesn't really look like him in the face, but... Well, also, I feel like Snail is a little bit darker. Snail is very black. Very black fur. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay, I need to, like, play the game instead of just sit here and look at them. It is parkour. Kitty parkour. Splash in the water. Splash in the water. Snail has an acting career? He could. He's a very smart boy. Oh, baby. This is what Snail likes to do to the couch. <laughs> no, normally he's good and he uses his scratcher. <laughs> oh, get in there. Destroy this tree. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough. <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
Oh, do we drink this? It's just rainwater, right? <laughs> we are living our cat life right now. More. More water. Oh, it's so cute. I'm scared. What if these cats... I don't know. What if literally anything bad happens to these cats? What if they have to put a plot in this game? And for a plot, you need tension. And for tension, you need drama. Meow. Oh, is this our... Our... I don't know <laughs> what kind of relationship we have with this cat. I don't know what is appropriate in this universe. Are we... Let's go with, like, best friends. <laughs> Roommates? Yeah, let's go with roommates. <laughs> Can I jump? Ooh! I hate it when cats do this, though. I mean, I know they're not gonna fall because they're cats, but... <laughs> Does it make you nervous? Don't fall. Oh! Chain jumps. Oh, very good. Very good jumping. Can we walk up here? Oh, be careful! <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, am I lagging a little bit? Maybe just a little. Game is too beautiful. It is pretty. Very lush. Where are we going? I didn't get the memo. Where are we going, snail? You hunting? Oh, cute. It's probably the cat ears. True. These HD cat ears. Ooh. Are we leaving the wall? Ooh. Observe. Oh. One of us is going to be captured. It's gonna be me, like... <laughs> I'm just gonna show up in this game with one of those, um... <laughs> the cat traps. And I'm gonna put out food. And I'm going to capture all of these cats and bring them home. <laughs> be careful! Oh no! Ghostly meows coming. Oh no! Don't drink that. Don't drink that. You're gonna turn into the Hulk. Oh. Not really dead, right? Not really dead, right? They wouldn't do this to us, right? Oh no. 
I know, we're the protagonist, right? We're the video game protagonist. <laughs> so, we have plot armor, right? What are those? What were those? your leg lick it and make it better oh wait it actually worked oh we're chilling <laughs> excellent excellent <laughs> let's go i mean i have heard that cat purrs the vibrations can help heal wait wait what were those guys sniffing just the garbage okay i have heard that cat vibrations from purring can Help to promote healing of bones. <gasps> oh, it's scary. What are those? What are you? You're like um, a big ice pod. What are you? <laughs> Up we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, they're like robots. I think. They have glowing eyeball. Mmm. They're rats? I never seen a rat like that before. No trumpets allowed. <laughs> Specifically trumpets. No trumpets. Oh no. A dead robot. Help! That's ominous. What do you think it was supposed to say? <laughs> Help! Oh, this water is nasty! Well... Hotel Yelp! In the far future, when Yelp has rebranded and... Becoming a major hotel. This is very suspicious. I swear, Fauna is at the end of this. <laughs> this is all an elaborate trap made by me myself <laughs> to catch tra cats. <laughs> Why would there be these signs? What's that? Whoa! <laughs> Amazing! What are we gonna do with this? Um... I do not know. Can we go all the way up? <gasps> Break the fan. <gasps> That's scary though. What if we got hurt? Oh, I hear... Meow. In the distance. Meow. Meow. Um. Oh, we're just knocking everything off. Like a cat. Wood. <laughs> Meow. Oh. Is this... Are we accomplishing things right now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I have a cat compulsion to do so. I don't want to fall. Oh, wait, can I still look? <gasps> it is beautiful. Oh, maybe we can go up here. Um... Up. Can we go up? Oh, we're down. Up. Up. I just... Oh, do we jump down there? Can we make that jump? 
Oh, we can. <laughs> Ooh. Knock it all down. Do it. Do it. Woo! Our reckless destruction has accomplished something. Oh, are we gonna leave footprints? Follow. That's so creepy. Huh? Oh! We're scratching the carpet? <laughs> oh, we did leave footprints! So cute! Wipe your feet off. Destroy this person's rug. Oh. Oh, don't drink that. Wait, I think it's rainwater, but I don't know. I don't see, like, a thirst meter in this game. Oh, Ooh, cute! <laughs> We're going down! Oh, Meow! Oh! Bird? What was that? What was that? More fake rats? Robo rats. Ooh. They are. They're like little isopods. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Can I help you? Oh. That's very sad as well. Oh, dear. It's not a very. I killed it. What do you mean? Killed him! I didn't do anything! If I did kill him, it was just to put him out of his misery. I'm a cat. I can do nothing wrong. And that's a fact. Let me up. Cats are completely removed from any sort of System of morality. Mm. That's why you still love them even when they bring a dead half eaten bird to your bed. Oh? I don't know if they're cute or ominous or scary. Oh, okay, they're scary. <laughs> Kitty is scared. Oh, oh! Why? Why? Oh! Ah! Get off me! Get off me! They're like little. They're kind of squishy, like frogs, almost. Get out! Get off me! They're like little parasites. Ew! Ew! Oh, jeez. Run! Run! Do I need to do a better job of dodging? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I have, like, a health bar or something. Ah! Run! No, 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 no! I don't like them anymore. I've decided. Oh, I've decided. They're definitely not cute. They're like little ticks. I guess there was nothing over here anyway. Mm. Is this a horror game? I guess when you're a cat, cats are prey animals. Everything can be horror, you know? That's why we need to adopt every cat. Oh. And I will adopt every cat in this game. 
Even if I myself am a cat. <laughs> Let's go. What? It's very spooky. It reminds me. This game reminds me of Little Nightmares. If you have heard of it. Oh. Little Nightmares is definitely more scary than this. But it has a similar atmosphere, especially at the second game. Little Nightmares 2. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I would like to stream Little Nightmares sometimes. I have played some time. I have played both of them on my own. They're very good. Some of my favorite horror games. Oh! Oh! Wait, can we roll this? It like shows you where to go. Can we not roll this though? <laughs> oh, probably get inside to roll it. <laughs> Don't roll it from the top like a... A video game. <laughs> Although this is a video game. Why is there a camera watching us? Is there anybody alive in this city? Just... Fauna the catnapper? <laughs> Ooh... I hope that's the end of this game, is that we get adopted. And we live a comfy... Fluffy life in all of our- Ooh, not this again! Whoa! And all of our lovely cat friends also get adopted and we all can live comfy life together. Sitting on laps all day. Ooh. Meow. Meow? Meow. Um... I can't jump that far, can I? Oh, we can go up. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Push. Oh, this game makes me nervous. <laughs> makes me want to hug my cats. Oh. This little kitty in a big... Big world. Oh. Sometimes there are sounds and I don't know if it's the cat making them or something else. Up. 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 I just want to see where this leads. Show me the crazy cat lady of... Cyberpunk 2077. Is that what the game 2070? 27? <laughs> Sorry, I'd never played that game. I know it kind of got memed on because it was very broken. It was kind of a no man's sky situation. <laughs> oh. Here? Noodle. I want noodles. This game, it really does have similar atmosphere to Little Nightmares. Another fan. Oh. Oh, we just unplugged it. <laughs> just ruin everything. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like anyone is really using this place anyway. Oh, the flat. Does someone live here? I don't like your bathroom. It doesn't look very comfy. To be honest. Oh, nice music though. I don't want to stop the music. Need help? Oh! A 
Okay, wait, this makes sense. It's... <laughs> ah! Ah! Was that me standing on the keyboard? Oh my gosh, it is. You can walk on the keyboard. <laughs> so there's probably some kind of AI that's like stuck in there. Because we've seen some robot bodies lying around. Can we go back and get that dead robot body? Ooh, we didn't pour this consciousness into it. Hmm. Oh. Look, they've been watching us through the cameras. Wait, what did it say? Oh. <laughs> Tur enter the door. Turn on. Find a body. This is just like Soma. Um... What if you played Soma as a cat? <laughs> I wonder if the creators of this game were inspired by both the Soma and Little Nightmares. Just walk on all the keyboards. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Can we plug it in? Oh? Do we need to plug all of these in? Are there more? I'm just a cat. I don't know how to use computers. Please understand. <laughs> wow. Plug it in. Even the puzzles are like little nightmares. This cat is a genius. I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out that the cat, like... ...knows... ...how to do things. <laughs> oh, oh! Cause I've never seen a cat do this before. <laughs> this is not a normal cat. Oh! I mean, oh wait, 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 it was up there, I think. I think I saw it. Yeah, in this world, cats have taken over as the most intelligent species on Earth after uh, humans and every other ape and uh, every other mammal <laughs> was destroyed, except for cats. And the octopodes also have been destroyed. Ooh! Yes, and the dogs, of course. <laughs> Ooh! That's creepy, whatever that thing is. Oh, there's also the body. There's the body. Hello. Oh, what have I done? I don't know. Why are you showing me these Space Invaders images? Mm. I'm on your body! Oh, meow! Oh. <laughs> oh. Is this what we're doing? Drone companion? I could use a drone companion. You want this? You want a drone head? Here you go. <laughs> now I can vlog. Oh, heck yes. Oh. Time to start a YouTube channel. What do I do with this? You want this? What do I do with a drone companion? Uh... Oh wait, there's arrows! Oh, oh, oh! Thank you, you're already telling me. Oh, we need to make a copy of it? <laughs> with the printer? Scan? <gasps> How cute! Oh no! It's cute. What does it look like?
look like the face looks like some creature. Maybe like a stingray. <laughs> it's cute. It looks like something. Puffer fish? Yeah, maybe like puffer fish. E.T. Yeah, kind of like E.T. A mantis. Okay, it does kind of look like a mantis. Oh no, don't smack it. Oh no, it's very sick. Oh no. It says B12 on it. <laughs> We cannot understand it. Oh, yes we can. <laughs> it worked! I'm free! Thank you! I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city? I'm... I can't remember my name. Should I give it a robot voice? It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in this electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Follow me. You're right, maybe robots have improved their text to speech technology. <laughs> That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Oh, we control the robot too? Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. Can you recharge with kitty snuggles? Oh. You're going to have to put the... What? Why are you enslaving me? I'm just a cat. I'm not gonna do what you tell me. Oh my goodness, this is a jetpack. <laughs> we hate it. We're <laughs> flopping to the floor. We hate it. Oh, I can't walk like this. <laughs> this is perfect. This is exactly how cats react when you put something on them. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too weird. Oh, it's too weird. <laughs> It's like those videos of dogs wearing the... Wearing shoes. <laughs> this backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Well, obviously it wasn't designed with me in mind. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Okay. Oh! When you said you digitized, you really meant it. <laughs> the music's so good. I want to listen. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Oh, well, there was this one guy out there. Now, let's get out of this flat. Okay. Oh, we're used to it. It's kind of like Death Stranding, too. <laughs> um... Don't knock over the music. Don't do it. I know you want to. Oh, translate. It's an engineering degree. I belong to the scientist I work for. Was the scientist a human or a robot? And what happened to them? Well, you don't want us to go out there? I think your human was also a gamer. Just look at this dual monitor, triple monitor setup on the CRT. This must be a melee player. Um, do you want me to leave through the window? I guess not. Oh wait, there was the key was for something probably. <laughs> Oh, yes, like this. This door right here. Mm, yes. Yes, I understand how games work. Select... Oh, the key! I want the key. Torch? <gasps> Whoa! This is scary. <laughs> we 
We're decked out now. What? What's the code, buddy? You gotta tell me. Uh oh, it's very dark. I forgot how to use the flashlight. Oh, it's like that. Code equals. I can't read it. Ooh. Get out of here. Three seven four eight. Three seven four eight. Three set what 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 oh three seven four eight X in, is enter not A You know I don't really know what buttons are what on this controller because mostly I play the switch <laughs> So I just spam every button until one of them works. Wow look at this place that elevator in the distance that's important I think not an elevator I know we need to go up Why what do you uh, What's... I don't... What, what are you... What are you trying to accomplish here? Ooh! That's gross. Oh, that's real gross. It's like meat down there. Oh, it's like amnesia. Oh my goodness. The city is infected. We need to get out of there. We need to get out of here. Before the... The flesh spreads. Wait, I remember it. The outside. Yes, I too remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? No, I came from the wall. I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. It looks nice. I want to go there. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Let's go. Ooh! Okay. New memory unlocked. Ooh! 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 Oh, meow. The garbage can. But what trash would a dead city have? Wait, I should have translated that! Translated! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Do you, I hope you have like lasers installed or something? Oh no. <gasps> I shouldn't have gotten that. No, 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 help me, help me, Fred, help me! You can run, you can run. Don't forget to run. A robot. Are you friendly? Do you like cats? I know there's like the rules of AI and it's like never harm human, but what about cats? <laughs> what about cats? What about cats? Uh oh. You don't like cat? You don't like cat? Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we sneaking? Um. Oh! Hello! Are you just afraid of me? I'm just a cat! <laughs> What's the matter? I don't like this robot. Whoa! A mannequin. <gasps> There's so many robots! They're all terrified! <laughs> Why? What did I ever do? <laughs> it does um, remind me of like... Oh! You're limping. Um... Or not it does remind... I think it's a funny situation to have like this future world where there are robots living and they're terrified of cats. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who are you? Are you friend? Nice outfit. Don't hit me with that, please. Oh, 
<laughs> we have our scary laser eyes. Boss fight time! No. They're <laughs> they're manning the sirens because of me. Meet. I don't know if I want to meet you. Oh. I'm glad this little robot can speak cat. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk, a who what? We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> oh, well, I have to eat something. I'm an obligate carnivore, you see. So it just depends on what you define as someone versus something. Oh my god, his voice is like a sick guitar riff. Do you hear that? <laughs> Oh, everybody out! It's okay! Well, snazzy outfit. I like the bow tie. <laughs> yeah, why would the robots be afraid of me eating them? You have no nutritional value. You look lost. What do you need? I need... This. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. What? This elevator is not operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. What am I if not an outsider? But they're all gone now. Except Momo. Who's Momo? You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. So I'm guessing we're like underground or something, because it seems like everyone is trying to go up through the elevator and... If Momo lives high up, maybe he wants to be close to the surface. Okay. Oh. B12, help me. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in that big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. I want to meet Momo. Momo is a cute name. Momo means peach. And I love peaches. Is Momo a human? Will human... Please give me snuggles. Meow. Meow. What are you guys up to? You wanna talk? Meet. Vapora. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. What are you doing? Meow. Oh my god, can we distract them? <laughs> We're causing chaos! <laughs> Uh-oh. We're not getting on people's good side here. Oops. <laughs> My work here is done. At least they're not blaming me. Um. Where am I going? Should we go down? Hello. <laughs> I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Oh man, they really should should clean it up for you. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Who, me or them? Well, you wouldn't mind if I just take these footsteps into your house, right? Just let me get get some real nice paw prints. There you go. Oh. Super 100% spirit power! Oh, is your shop a laundromat? That's cute. I don't know, it's kind of funny for robots to go through the effort of wearing clothes. Like, why would you spend money to wash your clothes when you're a robot? We can take the detergent? We're just stealing now? <laughs> 
same can be said for people? See, it's true. Why have you all created this society where you are forced to wear clothes? Hello. Oh, well, at least Cosmo is making use of all that detergent. Do you want some? Are you gonna drink it? But some people would pay a lot for the full super spirit bottle. You want it? Maybe you don't want it. <laughs> Somebody wants it. Fauna's also wearing clothes? Well, yeah, if I don't wear clothes, I wouldn't be allowed to stream on this platform. Well, actually, I probably could stream... ...like this. And that would be fine. <laughs> Oh no, don't reload last checkpoint. I almost pushed the wrong button. But you know, then I wouldn't be able to show off my cute, cute clothes. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it's for the best, really. Oh, is that the orange sign up there? Well. Mm. Oh, are you chilling? That's pretty nice. This is a good spot to take a nap. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. I like this guy. He's a dreamer. Me too. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, excuse me. E12, excuse me. Excuse me. How do I do that? Go back. No more. No more. No more. Okay. Yes, I understand. Is Do you think it's a big dome? The big sky dome? It kind of looks like it could be a big dome. Mm, but where? See? Are the lights... Are they lights or are they holes? Is that like real sunlight filtering through them? <gasps> no, don't jump. I want to go up. Where are we going? Oh, up there, right? To Momo. Oh! Destruction! Destruction! Um... Oh no! I thought maybe we could walk across the lights, but... <laughs> maybe even that is too precarious. Um... It looks like Japanese, is it? I have a hard time reading... <laughs> fonts. <laughs> it's like, I think it's not. But it almost looks like it. It's like an upside down... Japanese is similar to cat. Apparently. That explains Hanya. <laughs> um. Off of brand language. <laughs> oh, can we go to sleep? Go to sleep. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. I think I pushed the stop button. Oh. <gasps> Oh, This is cute. Maybe it's a katakana. <laughs> You're genius. <gasps> wow. It's so atmospheric. Wow. This robot is my new best friend. We are just going to nap and look at the fake stars. Wow. Wow. It's so cozy. Are we furry? That's so cute. Ah. 
How long does this go for? <laughs> How far can we zoom? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it is beautiful. Roll the credits. Let's just stay here forever. I bet this robot will adopt us. He seems like a nice, comfy fella. He'll adopt us. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything we can eat here, though. <laughs> wow. We're going to space. Is it slowing down? I think it's slowing down. Oh. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, good stretch! Big stretch! Cute! Oh, we can go in this way? Oh, now we are relaxed. And ready to go. Why do they have this, like, anti-bird architecture? You see these spikes? I think that's what they're for. <laughs> so that birds don't sit there and poop. But, like, come on. Come on. <gasps> You're not Momo. I don't think. Unless you are Momo. Maybe they're also anti-cat architecture. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you sad? It is Momo. Is that Momo? Do you see that painting on the wall? Is that what you used to look like, Momo? This game is so much. <laughs> it's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? I want the outside. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother! It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. Well, where are they? Are they gone as in gone gone? Or are they gone as in... They're outside? I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... Ooh. But... But that... My fan is in the way of my button. Fan! I love you, but you're in the way. I can't do my funny bit, fan. That <laughs> transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Ooh. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo! Don't be like this, Momo. <laughs> Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. It sounds like he needs a nice kitty companion. Let me check the notebook he gave us. His manifesto. The outsider's manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. What is this? <laughs> what is this, Momo? Would you like to explain yourself? It is signed Clementine Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. <laughs> oh, I think we should find the other notebooks. Momo? Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yep. Do you want my super spirit detergent? <laughs> I stole this. Whoa. Oh, are these his friends? They're all robots. Oh. This is what they call... Environmental storytelling. Who's that? Who's that up there? Not you, Momo? Is that you? Remember... Back home... A cow! Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. Oh, <laughs> it's a game. 
It was made just after I was created, I think. Can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing. I told you the scientist was a gamer! I told you! What did I say? I knew it. I can spot one a mile away. It was fun. I missed him. Why can't I remember his name? That's so sad. <laughs> mm, ooh, under the bed. This is a pretty nice place. <laughs> Problem. It's the troll face. I don't know, it's pretty cozy in here. Look, he's got some pictures of the outside. Nice. Wait, who's that? I don't know. Mm, your fridge is open! Wait, I guess you're a robot, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but your fridge is open! Maybe it's not even connected to power. What this? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! It inverted my controls. <laughs> That's so funny. I got an achievement for Curiosity Killed the Cat. But I'm not dead. My controls are inverted. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's scratch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Destroy. Good. <laughs> Wreck his stuff. Oh, I guess when you're a robot, you have no need for it. this idle meeting room. Robots can't be idols. Does that mean? Does Hatsune Miku count? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Roboco said bye! <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was only a, a stupid joke. I didn't really mean it. I didn't mean it. Um. Oh, are we looking for notebooks? I'm just walking around. Ooh. And destroying things. Um, to be fair, Roboko Senpai is a lot cuter than these robots. <laughs> I would much rather watch her than watch Momo do a singing idol dance. Sorry, Momo. <laughs> the city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. This is so cool. I like this world. It reminds me of, um... That book series. What was it called? The one where they... Was it called like the city of Ender? I don't know if it was Ender. The city of something. Ember. That's it. <laughs> Not Ender. Ember. Yeah. City of Ember. Where they all live underground. That book made a big impression on me. Like, I still remember it to this day. And I, like, remember how I would imagine it in my mind. City seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. See, that's what I thought. Mm, I like your plans. Mind if I have a bite? Oh, translate. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Is this true? Oh jeez, I should know this. I thought it was four. <laughs> Is it? Third? Oh jeez, was it always third? <laughs> it was always third? Oh. Oh. And fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. Alright, good to know. To date, is the, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is... How convenient. Four and a half billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the Moon create... Is that a baby? Did you hear that? 
stabilize the Earth's axis of rotation gradually reduces its rotation speed. Where's the baby? Sana? <laughs> oh, it was a meow? Oh... Cats are babies. Cats are the best babies. Oh yeah, we looked at that one. Ooh? You got anything over here? Oh, no, no. Oh. We got music. Turn it back. There you go. Um... Well then... Scratch, 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 scratch... Okay, okay. Meow! <laughs> Are his notebooks in here? Oh! He doesn't even care! I'm destroying everything. He's not even paying attention to me. This guy likes cows. He's got a lot of pictures of cows. Oh! A toy! No, 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 I want my music. Hee <laughs> hee. I mean... If I were his notebooks, I would be in his house, but maybe we need to leave. <laughs> oh, are we just scratching more? I thought we could open the door. Let's go. Oh! Oh! The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Where? Oh, over there? Oh! It's like a... face. <laughs> that seems like a lead. Let's go. Ooh. Now it's too quiet. I miss the music. What does that say? Green. Chroma green. What does that say? Does it say necro plants? Ooh. Are these undead plants? Are they fake plants? I guess it makes sense. Oh. <laughs> Suspicious plants. Let's see. Oh. Is this one of the old friend's house? Oh, can we scratch the couch? My dream. Scratch it, please. <laughs> Please, you need to sit right here and scratch. Just like a cat. Please. <laughs> no scratching the couch. But it seems so satisfying. Just knock everything off. Oh, is this the same robot we saw? I don't know. I'm not very good at just telling these robots apart. Sorry. <laughs> I like the screen. It is like pretty cozy. It's kind of run down, but in a cozy way. Oh. Oh, Clementine's notebook. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Oh, everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and are apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look, he will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Uh oh. The 
B12 does look like some kind of cute sea creature. Music! Oh, I bet we can play more songs on the radios. With that. Anything else? Mm. Where to now, B12? Oh. Help! Two notebooks, only two to go. We have to look at abandoned flats of the area. You should be able to see them all from the rooftops. Look for an outsider logo. Okay. I'm going to turn my fan on. The one that was so rudely blocking me. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh! I'm going down. I don't want to go down. I want to go back up. <laughs> Need a high vantage point. Oh! Not where I wanted to go. Um. Can we go this way? Let's look from over here. Cute flower. Um. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Is he dead? It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. That's why cats are better. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Oh. See, robots should have been built in the image of cats instead of the image of humans. Mm. How do we get up? Well, I know we were just up, but... Oh, maybe we should go talk to people. Hello? Oh, hello! What are you guys up to? Hello? I left it in the streets and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. What are the Zerks? Who are the Zerks? That's crazy, right? They... Oh, wait! That's probably the little dudes, right? That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. That's probably those little guys. Oh, we can rub on the robot's legs. That's so cute. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. <laughs> I don't dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open the door. Okay. Well, the guardian is our friend, so... Oh? Oh, is it a diner? Hello. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Do you want my laundry detergent? <laughs> Why is this valuable? Do they drink it or something? Oh, sheet music. I like all the lucky cats. <gasps> Remember. What's this? It looks moldy. <laughs> Did they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Do oh, are, do they really drink the laundry detergent? Is it soap? Kind of looks like soap. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. <laughs> wow. They're really out here eating soap. <gasps> oh! It's cool down here! I don't want to change the music. You want something? And may I interest you in a super spirit detergent? 
I have not met anybody who will pay something for this. I think you're all Josh and me. Oh, Maine in France. So France exists or existed. <laughs> Hello. Can I knock your cup off? <laughs> Hello. Are you awake? Are you alive? <laughs> Maybe not. Hello! You're new around here. What can I do for you? How about a super spirit bottle? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't like this song. Ooh! Okay. Well then, I suppose I'll be taking my leave. <gasps> Wait, can I play pool? Yeah! Woo! I love pool! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Look, I'm winning. Oh, 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 don't ask me if I'm playing stripes or solids. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, sink that eight ball. <laughs> yeah, sink you did. Eight ball first. Let's go. I'm not going to leave until they're all... All sunk. Oh, but I'm not very coordinated. I'm just a cat after all. Oh. Let's go! I won! Did you see that? You wanna play around? <laughs> I would love to play pool with a cat, personally. That sounds great to me. Oh, what's that? Translate. Barter man. Super spirit laundry, grand amount clothing, and Elliot programming. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, here's the bar. Who are you? Teddy. You do look a little like a zerg from far away. Really? I'm j just a cat. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things shoot through metal. They're terrifying. Okay, so that, that explains why everyone was scared of me. Ugh. Some people. Who are some people? Oh, we're back here. Hello. I want to go up. Hey, <laughs> crannies. Hot butter ice cream. Take the hot butter. Mix it with the ice cream. I forget how it goes after that. Mmm. <laughs> Granny creams, hot butter, ice cream. Um, <laughs> Chowder Man. We should play more of that game because there was more to see. Ooh. Meow. Where can I... I wish to... Go up, please. That's good. Up, up, up. Oh! A sheet music. Can I go up there? I feel like I should be able to reach that. I just want a good vantage point. Oops. Um. Oh, there's the one over there. I see it. Target acquired. Unless that's the one we already went to. But I think the one we already went to was back over there. 
maybe? It's the funny face. <laughs> this Kong has a funny face. <laughs> Winky Kong he has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. <laughs> Poor Lanky Kong. I will not accept any more of this Lanky Kong slander. I didn't make the song. Don't blame me. <laughs> oh, do you think this is Doc's house? Doc's got a lot of books. <gasps> Hello. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Oh no! He was crushed under the weight of books in the pursuit of creativity. Mm. Justice for Lanky. I'm with you too. Lanky, he's not even weird. He does IT. They just made him act funny for the video. <laughs> That's still my favorite video. The Lanky Kong listens to the DK rap for the first time. <laughs> oh. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. Hey, dog, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh! It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, Jess the Librarian. Who's that? Is that Jess? <laughs> oh! Do you think it's under these books somewhere? <laughs> I love the physics on these. Books, 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 books. Books. Books which can collide. Ooh. I want to have this many books. Oh, look. This game is amazing. They really thought of everything. <laughs> I'm trying to play you something nice. <laughs> Did you like that? Played it just for you. Mm. Lanky Kong. He has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. Oh. <gasps> Wait, don't I have the key? Oh, here? Ooh! Nice work! Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the last notebook. Let's go. They're making a weapon to defeat the Zergs. Who are you? So we got. Oh, wait, that's probably the other one, right? I don't think we went over there yet. Right across from us? I think. Who are you? What if we met someone and they just had like an anime girl project projected onto their screen? Hector. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small. 
<laughs> but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why you should pet me. Hepter, pet me. Pet me. Do it. Ooh. Running, running, running. Oh, meow. How are we get over there? Oh, maybe that way? Oh. Oh. Whoop. Hello. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> not my fault. Oh. oh, no, no. Not down, not down. I'm glad this cat won't just like drop all the way to the ground from all the way up here. <laughs> Let me in! I'm on their roof. Where's your door? Oh, can we break the fan maybe? And go in from the top? I think so. Destroy it. Destroy it. <laughs> Hold on, I have to... have to refresh. Beep, boop, boop, beep. Okay. Venting? I did see there's gonna be a big Among Us collab. It's been a while since anyone played Among Us, I feel like. <laughs> I'm excited to watch. Mm. Creepy bag. Whose house is this? <gasps> Delicious water. Mm. I really want to play VR Among Us when it comes out. Ooh! <laughs> Very nice. Is that where we need to go or is that the exit? Need to find the notebook. Mm. Do you think VR Among Us would be scary? <laughs> I feel like it might be scary. Would it be a horror game? I think I'm supposed to leave yet. Am I? Is this the right apartment? I mean flat. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yes, I was not meant to leave yet. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zablotazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. There's a note in this book. Yes. I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured it out. Here's the equation. <gasps> Let's go fix Momo's cell phone. Momo! That guy talks like that because his name is... He has a robot name. <laughs> um, back up there, right? I think. Climb, kitty, climb. Ooh. Hello. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebook? No, nope. look at this. Check this out. 
She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. That's cute. Nope, look, check it out. Dog's notebook. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Yes. And... Zabaltazar. Never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. It sounds like he liked Clementine the most. <laughs> His description of Clementine was the friendliest. Wait, you actually found all my friends' robot? Notebooks? Robots? <laughs> Notebooks? Yes. Help. Help. My controller. Help. 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 Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, I'm sorry you doubted our cause. I'll promise you. I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. He's... He... He was so defeated. But he didn't even bother to go find his friend's notebooks. <laughs> I see why he's still here and the others have potentially made it to the outside. Where's your sense of adventure, Momo? Et voila! It works! Come with me! Okay. Yes. I like his body language. <laughs> Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate them with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Oh, look how cute his face is right now. He believes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um. That building? Kel building? Um. <laughs> That's like a crane. Is it like that building? Mm. Up to the kitty to save the day. Oh, rooftops. Is it dangerous? Is it the one with the orange on it? The orange lights? Okay, okay. That looks far. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 they're still coming! Go, jeez! Jump off the edge! Oh, no, 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 no! How do I get them to jump off the edge? Come here! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! No! 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 Oh no! We died. Just run! Oh! <laughs> I wanted to kill them though. They have to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah! Jump, 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 jump! Are those guys slow? They cannot jump that well. Not as well as me, anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, 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 oh! They're like weird little creepy frogs. Stop! I don't know where I'm going. Help! I don't know where I'm going. Up, up, up! Just go up. Any direction.
section. Whew, whew, it's just like Hitman. I've been practicing for this. Remember, this is the same word that was in the other place. This city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Oh no. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting up lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. It is. This place does have a nice... Cute neon cyberpunk aesthetic. No RGB! <gasps> it's the gamer city! City of gamers. And RGB. Oh, oh. Where am I going? <laughs> um. Oh. I see. Get some momentum. Um. Roll. Roll. Whoop. 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 This is very scary. <laughs> oh no, the flesh. Do you see this? Icky. Icky, icky, icky. They say that the Zerks are the only organic life anymore, but I don't know what all this flesh is. Oh, good job hacking. Um. Are they gonna climb? I'm scared. Can we hack the door again? Oh! <laughs> Can we hack the other side? Don't open the door, please. <gasps> they open the door! <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. That's what we were meant to do. Oops. Ew, they make such gross noises. I know this game is kind of horror in disguise. Look at it! Just look at this fleshy stuff. Also, this exit sign. I've seen it before. I've seen this exact sign before. Is it in Animal Crossing? Is it in the back rooms? Is it everywhere? Maybe. Portal? Yeah. <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> No, no, no. No, no, no. I've never seen one like that in real life. Therefore, it must not exist. <laughs> if I have not seen it, it must not exist. Mm. Only in video games. I cannot see. It's real gross over here. Are these the Zerk eggs, do you think? I feel like they probably are. If they are indeed the only, um... Oh! Organic life here. So now I'm just expecting them to... Erupt from the eggs at some point. Why do I hear boss music? I have a bad feeling about this. I see them. Plan your route. I don't know, I have no plan. <laughs> oh, geez, no, 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 Just go. Just run. <laughs> no plan. Don't need one. Oh god. There, there, there. The lights will guide you. <gasps> no. Whew. 
Whew. Think about game design. They want you to follow the lights. It all makes sense. It looks so gross in here. Why would I want to go in here? Nico Corp. They're responsible for waste management. Let me guess, they did a bad job. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve. Is this fleshy stuff actually? A big... Big bacteria globs? After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Are Zerks evolved bacteria? <laughs> mm. I guess we need to go through here. Duh. I don't see any other way. Juke him! Juke him! Oh god, what? It's a dead end? Whew. Are they all running out here? <laughs> I think they're kind of cute in a way. You know? They're weirdly smart, though. Hack the door, hack the door. Okay, maybe they're not that smart. Um. I got scared. <laughs> I don't know if I ever needed to do that. There's a new fan mask off for sapling. No, 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 no. Saplings are far, far cuter. Um. Right? Did I ever need to go this way? I don't even know. <laughs> now what? Do we need to go? I feel like we need to go on this beam. Uh oh. Oh wait, maybe we can use this. Oh, we can use this, I'm sure. Probably to get on the beam, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh oh. Don't do it. What do they even eat? Oh, they probably eat each other, don't they? Can they photosynthesize? <laughs> How does. How does new energy get added to this ecosystem? Well, I guess it says they can eat anything, so I guess they eat robots from time to time. I guess can they eat all metal? I guess so. I guess they just haven't eaten it all yet. So they're thriving. Do I have to go down there? Maybe not. I don't really want to. Um. Here? Is that where I came from? Oh, there's a lever. A lever. <laughs> you can tell I've been watching Yaga's cast. If I start saying lever. <laughs> Is the elevator coming? Uh oh. Is the elevator coming? What's happening? Oh god, what's happening? There's the elevator. Hello, elevator. Oh 
go, 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 go. Use the elevator. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. We got to go. Ew. I can get a good look at them from here. There was a fat one. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, look how cute he is. It's just like Death Stranding. He's our little babu. <laughs> Oh, they're kind of cute, but they're kind of scary. They're like little frogs almost, but they're made of bacteria. They're like a scoby. Ew. Oh, I'm scared. The elevator is broken. I don't like elevators. There's so much that can go wrong with elevators. Oh, here it is. Put the receiver on this antenna. Which antenna? Oh, this antenna? Yes. I like the music. It's very mysterious. What does this remind me of? Oh, it reminds me of some game. Some old game. What game does this sound like right now? Oh... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Journey? I didn't play Journey. I want to say Echo, but if it's... Uh, I feel like there's something else. It does sound kind of like Echo, but I feel like there's another one that sounds even more similar. Hmm. Maybe Echo. Echo the dolphin. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Oh. oh, is that the upper level? Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Like nature. We didn't... Did we come from there? We were inside the wall. I don't know. <laughs> we're just a random cat colony. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open up the city. We're gonna free all of the robots? Let them loose on the world? Still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. I mean, isn't that just how memories work? Haven't you... You've been, like, seeing stuff that jogs your memory. It makes perfect sense. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open this city. Come on, let's get back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Okay. Momo! Ooh, shortcut? Wow, it's so creepy. Ew, look at all the big flesh tendrils. Ew. Especially if you think about them being made of bacteria, that's pretty gross. The Slums, part two. I heard there's 12 chapters, I think. Look, a note. Oh no, did he leave? Did he go do something reckless? Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. Okay, I'll meet you at the bar. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. I'm guessing it's not going to be simple at all. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. Maybe it's simple for your robot mind. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. I hope you remember it, B12. Which window? This window? Use B12. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... I think it was an H. I th oh my goodness. Oh my... Oh, he remembered it! He's a genius. Let's go. 
I don't remember how to get to the bar. <laughs> we'll find it. Mysterious music. The game has really nice atmosphere. That much is certain. Um, wait, the bar was like at the lower level. Let's go down. Remember when we had cat friends? Oh. Our friends are gone. Hello. Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. For you. What's up? Oh, they're having a conversation. I didn't even see these guys. Nice blanket. That guy looks like he just got back from the gym. Look at that. <laughs> Can I knock? Knock, 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 knock. <gasps> Hello? <laughs> We can just run right under his legs. Hey. Are you Elliot? Hey. You're Nestor. You're here for Elliot. He's just over there. I'll take his music. <gasps> nice loft bed. Oh, hello. Yes, can I help? <gasps> Finally, someone. <laughs> no, he won't. What you doing? <gasps> he has this music. Also a gamer. He might be a gamer. In fact, I think he's not just a gamer. I think this guy here, he's a game dev. I like the music. Oh, this looks so comfy. I could sleep here. <laughs> what a nice song. Discord mod! Oh no. Well, let's see. If he was really a Discord mod, he should come yell at us for this, right? Stop posting memes in general! Not Discord mod confirmed. Um. Okay. Thank you. Can I leave? Let me out. Please, meow. 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 We missed some memory. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. I don't actually want to go outside. I changed my mind. Um, we're just like a real cat. <laughs> Add to the immersion. <laughs> this tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. This is a, a corruption of nature, is what this is. This is horrible. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what humans would have wanted. That's nice. The robots still think about what humans would have wanted. Heart eyes? Who are you? <gasps> you love me! <gasps> wow! Finally a cat fan. Grandma! Oh, cute! Cute, cute, 
cute. <laughs> oh, she loves us. We don't need to leave. Can we just stay with Grandma? I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. She'll knit us a comfy cat bed. Look, we could leave or we could stay and keep Grandma company. She probably needs it. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a po I want a poncho! You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Oh, where do we get that from? Grandma Clothing. A lovely name for a shop. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today. Right? Time is weird. Tomorrow. What? <laughs> tomorrow will be yesterday's. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Oh, might I offer you some super spirit detergent <laughs> for your problems? Mm -hmm. Thank you for someone, someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. I can do it. Meow. Where's the bar? I'm lost. Meow! Let me in! <laughs> it's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Who? Leave where? Leave what? I'm lost. I don't think I should be here. <laughs> Remember! RIP HUMANS! R.I.P. HUMANS! Sucks to suck! Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I would say it feels like the way it felt before you were born. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? I think they're incapable of feeling peace or the opposite of peace. So that's peaceful enough, I say. Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I can't help you out there, buddy. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Alright. Don't worry about it, AI. You won't even be able to worry when you're dead. So don't worry. Looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambience. Please if find any, please bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Mm. Oh wait, the bar is right here, right? Wait, no. Do you want this? Hold up. Do you, do you, can I sell you the super spirit detergent? I stole it from you. Do you want to buy it back? Um. Is this the bar? Oh, we made it. <laughs> hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I like the way they bump into each other. Even the... <laughs> <laughs> the way they scoot the stool. Can I sit here? Yes, yes. Oh, how cute. Oh, pets! We get pets! Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out in. Wait, is that you, Baltazar? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Baltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? 
Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Did he always talk like this? <laughs> Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. <laughs> sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabaltzar is alive! He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltzar made it, there must be a way. Don't tell me you're gonna make me do it. <laughs> he looks so serious. Seamus, you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. I don't want to go in the sewers. It sounds scary. <laughs> oh, that guy finally woke up. Seamus. That's how you say that name, right? Oh, he's Doc's son? Interesting. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. His dad left. Okay, it's kind of understandable. That's pretty sad. Now he just spends his days at the bar. Oh, don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in his apartment. Come on, follow me. Will you carry me, please? Please carry me. Please, I'm just a little buddy. <laughs> It is a nice game to play as a cat Because the world is so big, you know Like imagine if you're playing this game As a robot The world wouldn't feel nearly as as big But at the same time We have way more mobility this way, you know <laughs> Footprints, footprints <laughs> I like his flamingo Outfit it looks kind of like a lab coat, but... Flamingo. Oh, 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 oh. Is anybody home? Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Oh my god, you can't just like guilt trip him. By his, with his absent father. <laughs> Hawaiian lab coat. That's how you know Momo is a chill guy. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you? I think I have an idea. What's your idea? Can we use this super spirit detergent? <laughs> oh. Okay. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Okay. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing in here? I told you, get into the sewers. This is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Here you go. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? It's so, so sad. We should be... We should have some sympathy for this guy. <laughs> oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? A secret lab right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. Oh my gosh, it really did act as an electroshock, huh? Everyone is so easily influenced. Is that how they build robots? <laughs> Maybe they all have extremely open minds. <laughs> they, they 
are not stubborn at all. Even a little bit of information will completely change their their mind. Is the toxoplasmosis? Okay, that's also true. Probably. <laughs> Cute. Just ruin all his stuff. Their minds are open source. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Here you go. Uh-oh. I don't know the code. It's your birthday. What's your birthday, my man? What's your birthday? I've never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? What's your birthday, Seamus? What's your birthday? Do you have one? Give me your birthday. Oh, it's probably on the clocks there. I wanted it to be wholesome, though. Like his birthday. Okay, the clock says... Two, five, one, one. I think. Two, five, one, one. Is that your birthday? <laughs> oh, look at this. Listen to this sentimental music. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Oh my god, what does he have in there? Oh, those are... The Zorks... I forgot the name. Zerk, it's right on the screen. Help. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Got this. Ooh, they they remind me of a little bit like of a tardigrade. What is this? Robots news headlines: Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh, that would be. If you were a robot, that would be one of the most horrifying things you could possibly read in the news. Ooh. Fluxer Blueprint concept light based handgun Objective 20 Zerg destroyed per second Uh I know imagine if just like one day you checked the news and it was like trees now eat people That would be horrible Observations, cute sounds, but never friendly. It's true, they're a little bit cute. Old bacteria of human time eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark, react to intense light. Can we just use our flashlight on them? <laughs> Find anything interesting? Show them this one. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. I don't want it anymore. Oh. Do all scientists have a secret lab? The Zerk weapon should be around here somewhere. Is this it? <laughs> um, just a delicate weapon. Knocking it to the ground. No problem. You don't think he took the weapon with him? Who? Broken. Is this what we needed? Find anything interesting? Yes. This one. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. Can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. See, this is just sad. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Can we talk to... What was his name? The programmer? The Discord moderator? 
Ah! Oh! <laughs> the door opened and actually scared me. I thought it was gonna kill me. <laughs> you slammed the door in my face. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who's making that sound? Is it you? You sound kind of like a Zerk right now. Translate. Elliot. Do you think Elliot can help? Or am I just supposed to go back to the bar? <laughs> Which way was the bar? Wait, Barter Man is not... Wait, you're Barter Man! <gasps> you want my... My super spirit! Yes! Wait, are you not the barter man? Who's... Where's the barter man? You're the guardian. What are you doing? <laughs> um... Are you the barter man? <gasps> oh, I wanna... I need to buy your electric cable. Hello, sir. Azuz, you are the merchant of the market. <gasps> yes! We can get a poncho! What is this? Ancient relic. Three energy drink cans? Maybe later. Poncho, where's the grandma? Granny Cream's hot butter ice cream. Take the hot butter. Mix it with the ice cream. Um. Granny? Wait. Drink? Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, let's go. More, 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 more. These robots don't know how to use vending machines. <laughs> oh, maybe there was only one. Where's the granny? I'm lost. Where's the sign? Um. This way. This way. <gasps> there she is! Poncho! Look how cute she is! I do have it just for you! Here you go. <gasps> I'm so excited. A poncho! Grandma! Yes, how do I wear it? I'm not wearing it. Wear it. Yes. Show to B12. Put this on me. <laughs> Put it on me! How do I wear it? Can I wear it? It's not for wearing? Wait, really? <laughs> Why did she make me a human-sized poncho? What? What? Not for Kitty? <laughs> Grandma... Oh, it's so cute! Oh... <laughs> oh... I wish I could join you guys. Unfortunately, my poncho is way too big for me. Alright. Um. Do we go back to the bar? Wait, is there... Is it on this sign? I don't know. A bar. Um. Gotta be somewhere. 
Are you cold? Do you want a poncho? I recognize grandma style. She's very talented, you know. It's true, isn't she? Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> Go to Elliot? Do you think I can? Let me in! Does he know how? Hello. <laughs> I do like Elliot's because they... They let me in. Mm -mm, I don't know. Can you help me? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR Battle Royale 2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but... Oh, he's cold! Oh! It's perfect. Here you go. Oh, poor guy. You don't really have, like, no blanket anywhere in here? <laughs> Let me try it on. Aw, oh, cute. Look, no tremors. I mean, that's so sad. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update in. One more thing. Voila! <gasps> Fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Aw. You have any energy drinks? For me. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. I like how this NPC exists only to <laughs> open the door for us. You're really nice. That's a rare treat trait these days. If ever want to hang out, you're all who me? The cat? <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing to say to a cat. <laughs> Ooh. His life purpose. I mean, I will happily hang out with him. Okay. Um. Are you guarding this, Teddy? Grandma made me this scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. I need the vending machine, Teddy. Oh, I don't want to go up. I don't want to go up. Let me down. Oh, no. Let me down. Let me down. <laughs> I'm out of control. Hey, check it out. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Check it out! That's some quite advanced technology here. Wait, oh, he doesn't want it? Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to go back to... Seamus. Oh, uh, where was he? He was somewhere. Nearby. I think. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm all turned around. Oh! He was like outside. Other side? Past the paint guy? Uh oh, where's the paint guy? <laughs> um. Take the hot butter and mix it with the ice cream. Do I have to go up? Mm. This doesn't feel right. I'm very lost. Where's paint guy? Um. Um. Oh. Oh. Can I go up? I can find them from up here. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. 
It's the bar. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so lost. Help, I'm just a lonesome cat. <gasps> oh, here he is. Where's... Seamus? Uh-oh. Did I pass him? Seamus? Seamus Doko? Did he leave? Wait, is that him? Yes. Oh, he sat down. Okay, hello. <laughs> I did! Check it out. Look at this! You did it! You fixed it! Well done! Give it here. Dad tracker. This guy must be drunk right now, right? <laughs> he was like passed out at the bar 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Should he really be doing this right now? I don't know, maybe he slept it off. <laughs> We got a ping! Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it! Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Isn't it dangerous? Okay. I want to. Can you carry me? I don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> Please. I probably only weigh about 10 pounds. I don't know, I look actually pretty small and skinny. Probably only eight pounds. Nine pounds. Can you carry me? <laughs> I want to jump on his shoulder. If I could, I would. Is this where he went? <laughs> We're facing the wrong way. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Really? We're gonna die, Seamus. We're gonna die. We didn't have the weapons. Didn't you say it yourself? Oh, jeez. Seamus. We're going to die. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at all that fleshy bacteria. Mm. Delicious biofilms. Mm. He's gonna die. Right in front of my eyes. Oh no. <laughs> there's there's nothing. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. Yeah, you're right, you can't. Yeah, you're right, you're not as fast as me. The Zerks they will get you for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize that he will know that you're a friend. Or he'll think I killed you <laughs> and stole your badge. I'll open the door for you. Okay, I guess we're going. Okay, bye! Gotta run! Oh, pretty plants. Oh. Alright, I guess we're going. It says do not enter, but I am... Ooh! I'm a cat and I cannot read. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh, 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 oh. I would really love to stop and smell the roses, but um. <laughs> Not gonna be doing any of that. Woo! This looks like where I came from. Is it? Although there's like Zerks everywhere, so probably not. 
And the water's all dirty. But it's looking similar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wrong way. This way. <laughs> Are we safe? Is this algae or something worse? <laughs> um, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then do this. Can I jump to there? Oh, and then do this, and then do this. Very nice. Cat understands momentum. <laughs> A genius. Oh, I remember this from the tutorial. Hold A. <gasps> oh boy! Oh boy! Am I controlling this? I don't know! Oh my goodness! Please don't break your legs again. Oh. Huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Really? Can he fix my broken? B oh no! It really am hurt. Oh no! Oh oh no! I'm I'm healing. <laughs> I have magical healing powers. All right, good as new. Doing great. Doing excellent. No problems here. Do we have the tracker? Whoa. Whoa. How do we know where Doc is? He didn't get very far. If like this is as far as he as he came. Doc? <gasps> A toy. We ballin'. <laughs> mm. Ew, there's eggs here too. See, this doesn't seem safe. For him. <gasps> Help me. I'm stuck. I'm just a little zerk stuck in the washing machine. No way, you can... you can rot in there. Um... Oh, I probably have to go upright. <laughs> I'm just running around. Can I jump anywhere? I wish to go up! Um... Here? I can't jump on anything. Here? Nothing is... is jumpable. They stacked too much garbage on top of it. Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Hold on, am I blind? Is this where I came from? Try the doors? <laughs> um... Do the doors work? This is the right way? The cable? Oh! I don't know how I got so turned around. <laughs> simple navigation, not so simple. Oh. This is very ominous. And a bit disgusting. Wait. Is this where I came from? Yes. It is. It's a circle. Um. Here! <laughs> They're kidnapped! Haha! <laughs> oh my god, there's a knife there. Is he executing them? Should I pull this out? <laughs> Pro 
Probably not. Maybe, who knows? The music's a little scary. <gasps> Doc? Oh, he's alive! Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. That's very wholesome. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my Defluxor, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Oh. Signal lot. That's pretty sad. I guess she's a robot too, so he's just like immortal, you know? Oh, is this your... Your thingy? I like his wire hair. <laughs> yeah, he's like Einstein. <laughs> hey, be careful with that defluxor. In a full charge, it can explode zergs like confetti. This baby needs a hundred... No. 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. Not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and place the fuse, I should be able to get the deflexor recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Oh. Oh, it's a Back to the Future reference? I have a confession. I've never watched Back to the Future. I know, I know! How could I? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> watch along now! <laughs> Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Oh, thank you. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxor. I feel like there's a lot of movies I've never seen that I should have seen. Like The Matrix? I've never seen The Matrix. You just need to follow the- or and I've never even seen Morbius. How could I? Just need to follow this cable, charge, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Oh, I thought that he was a Zerk. Um <laughs> reach the generator, change the fuse, but where is the generator? Do I follow the wires? It was probably that thing that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Ooh. <gasps> he couldn't have managed this. There is nary a zerk around. Okay, well maybe there's a few. <gasps> it's like Splatoon. Don't point that thing at me. I know I hey, 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 hey! Okay, maybe, maybe do point it at me. I changed my mind. You can point it at me. I changed my mind. You gotta back me up here! <laughs> Doc, stop shaking it around! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whoa! He's gaming! <laughs> whoa, 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 Doc! Help! <laughs> okay. Thank you! Thank you! Woo! <laughs> I like Doc. Doc's my new friend. Amazing! You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxor is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxor to your drone. Let's go! <laughs> do it. Do it. We're gonna be unstoppable. Why is he just giving his weapon away to a cat? <laughs> he doesn't want it, apparently. <laughs> I know, isn't Doc adorable? I love a mad scientist character. <laughs> it worked!
worked! The deflexor is now installed on your fancy drone there! It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son! Yes! Adorable father-son reunion. I love all the wires. <laughs> it's like he's got some crazy hair. Oh, wait, I want in. Yeah! Oh, wait, does it have a charge? I'm getting devour flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, it is an escort mission, isn't it? I feel like he should have kept it. Oh, gross. Take out all those zerks so we can get through it. Did I not? Oh. <laughs> wow. It's working great. But as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Doc. I got your back. Oh, look at us. We're a perfect team. Mad scientist and cat and drone. <laughs> what better team could there be? This switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. He's got the ninja steppy. He does. Oh, do I have to fix it? Is it up there? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Look at, oh, look at this complicated puzzle action. You have to move this barrel before you can move this barrel. Oh my gosh. I can't get it. Well, you know, maybe we should move it this way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Will it squeeze? Please tell me it will squeeze. Squeeze! <laughs> it's gonna squeeze. <laughs> Don't make fun of the puzzles it's meant for a cat. You're right, but it is the smartest cat in the... Whole entire universe, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I know that cats... There's like the stereotype that cats are smarter than dogs. And it does depend on how you measure intelligence, but... I mean... Dogs, I feel like, are... <laughs> pretty much just smarter than cats. They're just goofier. Oh. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Overheating! <laughs> oh no! This was this was a horrible a horrible showing. <laughs> I panicked! I panicked! <laughs> I mean dogs can be trained to like sniff out bombs and stuff. That's pretty wild, you know? Oh no, it's... It's... It he overheats really easily. Where am I going? Is this a boss fight? Is everyone dead? No. Oh my gosh, there's so many. It's about to overheat! How big they get! It's kind of gross. Oh god, is he dead? He was there? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, phew, that was close. Let's go back home. I didn't realize he was there the whole time. Yeah, there is a meter. It's kind of small though. Next to the drone. Look at his little step. <laughs> Yeah, I guess they do want the cat more than the robot. I mean, it makes 
sense. It does seem like flesh would be more bioavailable than metal. <laughs> Can you open this? I can't do it. Are little guys going to shoot out of there? Ooh. Let me go first. I got you. I got you. Oh, we made it. <laughs> He's like barely far at all. And he, how long was he stuck there? For like months? <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, oh, the heart face. That was so cute. That's so cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so wholesome. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see the Seamus no longer alone. He's not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> I just realized that Iris. Cesura of Despair and Astro Girl both to talk about not being alone. Now we know that we can fight back in the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. We did. Are they still there? Aww. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son Seamus? It's thanks to him that I can't... <laughs> Excuse you. Actually, it's thanks to me. Your son would still be drinking himself into stupor at the bar if it wasn't for me. Getting high off Tide Pods. Sorry, Seamus. I'm sure you would have figured it out eventually. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Oh, can we go home now, Dad? Oh, oh, he's awkward. He's socially awkward talking to these people. I see. These are like his dad's friends, and he's like, "Can we go home?" <laughs> oh, did they find a way? Oh yeah, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Hello, who are you? Benzu. Momo's waiting for you on his... He has a boat? You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Oh. Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Oh. I mean, we didn't get everything, but... I also don't particularly care about 100%ing it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm okay with a, a non-completionist... Run. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, the music sheets? Yeah, we could do the sheet music, actually. Um, Where do we drop the sheet music off at? <laughs> I don't remember. He's right there? Who? Him? Not him. Oh, guy with guitar near the elevator? Who has a guitar? Guy close to the sewers? You! Hello! Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Um... Do you want this? Petite valse. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. <gasps> wow! Can we sleep here? Oh... Now this is comfy. <laughs> it sounds like Spongebob. Yeah, it does. 
<laughs> you guys think so too? This is so cute! It's kind of creepy. <laughs> the more I listen to it. Is it a loop? Do you want another song? Oh, do we have to listen to the whole thing? I can do that. <laughs> I'm very patient. Um, how long is the song, sir? Started again. Was that not the end of the loop? Go around the block to get him to stop. He's still going. <laughs> Is that the end? Am I loop if you sleep? Oh, so you can listen forever. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we only have eight of these to go through. Yeah. Here you go. Cool down. Oh, it appeared on the wall behind him. Ooh. I like this one. Yeah, this one is nice. Cat Jam! Cat Jam's perfect. Can we cat jam? I'm a cat, but how do I jam? Here, I can cat jam. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this one's good. one so far, okay? We can rank them and figure out which one's the best. Alright. Cool down number one so far. I'm not gonna remember the names. <laughs> Here you go. Tomorrow? <gasps> Tomorrow? Let's hear it. This one's got a little bit of, um... Everything at the end of time vibes. <laughs> Maybe. Or more Spongebob, that's true as well. <laughs> it's just a burning memory. This one? I don't know, this one's not my favorite. It was short though. That one might be at the bottom so far. Tomorrow! Here you go. Ballad of the Lonely Robot! Oh no. Oh, this is kind of like blues, right? I was afraid it was gonna be like really sad, but it's more like a bluesy one. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> this one's probably not number two.
Yes, I have more. Here you go. Mildly important information. Wow! Composed by a renowned algorithm. Okay, let's see this AI-generated music. Checking phone ringtones. They do kind of sound like phone ringtones. This one's... Are those like some minor chords in there? It's a little bit creepy at the end. <laughs> it's got a little bit of unsettlingness inside there. Here go. Untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Um. Um. Was this one also written by an AI? Here you go. Oh, that's an energy drink. Was that everything? Is there one more? Did we miss a song? Can we make him play for us? Now I kind of want to get all of them. <laughs> all the music at least. There's two more? Oh, were there eight? Maybe we do have to explore. <laughs> I want to hear all the music. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> Help! My controls! Help! Help! <laughs> He's just watching us. Help! <laughs> oh, Barterman has some? Oh no. If Barterman has some, then we really have to. Oh, look, he does. Can I have it for free? Oh. Here you go. She music four of eight. Did he just have that one? The marketplace. Oh, we have almost. Got his whole stock of everything. Oh, just one more. Does anyone know where it is? It's in a safe. Where? <laughs> he talks like Animal Crossing. The way you compute tonight. Ooh, is this gonna be a little romantic tune? Ooh. It's swanky. <laughs> I want to hear lyrics with this one. It does remind me of Undertale, too. This game, I gotta say, it has a lot of personality to it. Well, I didn't know, like, anything coming into it. <laughs> and it's already way more than I thought it would be. Well, I kind of just thought it would be, like... I don't know, you're a cat. <laughs> Which you are, but... There's, like, a whole world here, you know? We got world building right now. We got characters, we got robots. <laughs> mm. Okay, so are there any are there any backseaters in the chat who know where where the last sheet music is? I have heard it is in the safe somewhere. Neck Oh wait, no, it just says Nico Plants. That's that that's the not Necro, it's that brand. 
Don't need the sun to enjoy nature. That's blasphemy. Don't listen to this game. Um, <laughs> Nico, Nico, me. Next to music, I. Oh, safe next to guitarist. Oh, really? Wait, it's that simple. A safe doko. Safe. What's a safe? Oh, <gasps> safe! Wait, what did that say? What? Safe's mystery. Oh. It's written, follow the numbers. But it looks like a binary language. I don't speak binary. You might be able to decipher this code one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Can I read it? It says Billy. Wait, we know Billy. Do we? Wait. <laughs> Billy, do you speak binary? Do we know Billy? Billy! So you survived the berserks after all. Do you have the 10 cans you owe me? Uh oh. It said Billy on it. Do we really not talk to Billy? <laughs> he is busy. <laughs> Every robot should speak binary. Yeah, right? How come my little companion cannot translate for us? The code is behind a picture at the bar. Okay. Is this the bar? Behind a picture. Oh! Ruin it! Oh! One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. Um. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get lost again. One, two, eight, three. Oh um, Oh no. How am I already lost? No! Yes, this way. Yes. One, two, eight, three. Perfect. One, one, two, eight, three. She's still cleaning. Have you ever tried cleaning paint off of pavement? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a futile endeavor. Last one. Yeah. <gasps> oh, music badge. Unreadable sheet music. I'm scared. It sounds familiar. But it makes me uneasy. Yeah, like a circus. Maybe that's why. Like a creepy circus. Okay. Will he play for us now? You're a great music. Do you take requests? Does he not take requests? I want to hear you play. Please play. I have no money. <laughs> Will he play for me? If I sleep? <laughs> to Wonderwall. He's just staring at me. I mean, to be fair, I would do the same. <laughs> I won't even act like I wouldn't. Mm. No play, only stare. Only stare. <laughs> he says love! He loves me! <gasps> oh, he loves me! <laughs> That's so cute! Aww. He loves cat! <laughs> That's so cute! Everybody loves kitty cat! 
Oh, smile. <laughs> smile. Ah, it's so cute. <laughs> How about you guys? You guys love kitty cat? Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me! Mm. What are you doing? Take care of the plants. The humans improved them so... Uh, uh, I think they were perfect... ...by nature. I just had a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is amazing technology. Um... Wait... Can we play our music at the bar now? Was this one of them? One of the songs? I have no... ...musical memory. <laughs> It's different? What's the point of our sheet music then? <laughs> hmm. Oh, it was one of them? I don't know, I'm getting... ...mixed information. Is this even music? Um... Um... What's happening? It's building to something? <laughs> Where's my music? It takes a while. Does it? Because it's like an old-timey re record player. So it's like swapping out the discs in the back. <laughs> I understand. You have to wait. It's like a real jukebox. It's not like a... It's not a digital one. It's a real one. <laughs> Super mode? No. Papa Kieran used to have one of these. <laughs> And I would watch it. It had CDs inside and it would like... Poof, 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 flip them around. <laughs> it was cool. It was very cool. Is it? <laughs> I think I broke it. Maybe it's because I have no money. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, I don't think I will wrap things up here for now. It seems like a good spot to end it because we, well, we're about to set off. I will play this again. I know it. I'm adding another series <laughs> to to the channel when I haven't finished my other series. This game is. I think it's not that long though. I think it's like. Well, I looked online. I heard it's like 8 hours, but it'll probably take me like 12 hours. But even then, that's not too many streams. One more stream should finish it, really? You think? 4 to 8 hours? Oh, that's not bad then. 8 hours is max. It's about 6 and a half. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can finish it in the next stream then. Well, not like next time I stream. Because the next stream is the wow special announcement stream. What could that be? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but, um... After that. <laughs> or, well, I made my schedule already. Uh, sometime, I'll, p I'll finish it. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Wait, can I not save? Wait, how do I save?
love this game. Can I just quit? I hope so. <laughs> it's probably fine. Oh, hold on. Got double music. Let me turn my light back on. It was fun to play in the dark. It was very cinematic. A very cinematic experience. <laughs> okay, I will read the super chats though. We have some to catch up on too. Um, let me switch this around in this. Whoop. It is a comfy game. I'm kind of invested in the story. <laughs> I well, again, I had no idea what to expect from it. I really didn't know what it would be at all. But now I'm kind of invested. I want to know what happens. <laughs> I want to save, save the kitty. I didn't see any of the trailers, no. I went in like completely blind, basically. <laughs> I saw like some screenshots and that was it. I don't know, I just heard it was a game where you play as a cat and everyone was talking about it and that was enough to sell me on it. <laughs> Grab the super chats. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. Ooh. Boop, boop, boop. I'm a robot. Beep, boop. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me grab the thumbnails too. He he he. I don't have any thumbnails. He he he. He he he. Okay, we'll read the ones from today first. Um. Let me do this. Oop. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today, for hanging out. It was a fun stream. It was a comfy stream. After playing so much Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, Minecraft can be pretty comfy too. But... Um... Yesterday's stream was a little bit of chaos. <laughs> um, I also I wanted to talk about... I didn't get a chance to talk about this yet. I saw the end of Breaking Bad. I finished it. <laughs> Oh, I know I've been talking about how I've been watching it. And I finally finished it. And... I felt so... Empty. <laughs> when I finished the series. It was a pretty depressing ending. I was just... Depressed. <laughs> but then I watched El Camino and I felt way better. After that. <laughs> Because, um... Yeah, well, El Camino... It's like... It's kind of like the OVA, you know? <laughs> it's the epilogue. But... Yeah. Well... Because... Well, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much. But I kind of will have to spoil it. Mm, do I need to put my text on the screen again? This is the wrong text. 
just go for it. I know, like, probably everyone who wanted to watch it has watched it by now. But what if they haven't, you know? I don't know. This is... I have too many text sources in my OBS. I can't find the right one. <laughs> um... This one. Oh, here you go. Look, I still have it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the screen. I'm gonna talk about it. Final season, Breaking Bad spoilers. Imminent. Turn off your ears. Turn off your ears. No better call saw spoilers. However, there will be... And... Final season, Breaking Bad. And El Camino. Spoilers. Oh, jeez, it's too big. If this is on the screen... I'm gonna be talking about it. When I turn it off the screen, you can look again. <laughs> Here's your spoiler warning! Spoiler warning! Spoiler warning! Okay. Okay, I hope everyone has turned their ears off who didn't want to hear it. Because I'm gonna talk about it now. Mmm... <laughs> Has season two. You better, you better mute the stream then. You can come back when I put this off the screen. Because I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. Okay. Well, so... I was so sad... After... The end of the series. Because, well, they killed my favorite characters off already. So... I, I only really cared about Jesse at the end. I like Jesse. And I wanted Jesse to have a good ending. And like... Uh, <laughs> he was in a pretty precarious spot by the end. You know... <laughs> well, it wasn't really certain if Jesse was gonna be okay. After everything that had happened, you know? Like, thinking realistically, I kind of feel like he was... He was not coming back from that, you know? But... That's why El Camino made me way less depressed. <laughs> because Jesse does get his good ending. I couldn't believe it! They actually let him go to Alaska. I was so happy. Oh my gosh. And like, I don't know. Well, I guess like the whole thing was like... Jesse is like not a killer, you know? But then... In the end, he kind of... Had became a killer. In order to secure his own happiness. His own happy ending. But it's weird because I was like oddly... Proud of him. <laughs> I was like, yeah, finally. You're killing someone for yourself. And not just doing what Walt is telling you. Finally. But I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Jesse, well, he was like suffering the whole series. So I'm glad he got a happy ending. But I don't know. I also like kind of hated Walls by the end. But I was still really depressed <laughs> by the end. Like I still found it. I was still feeling sympathetic for him. Which I think it goes to show like the show has such amazing writing. You can still feel sympathy for Walt at the end. Even after everything that he's done. But... It, I just like, oh, it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, he is a, a man with cancer and a family and, you know, he knows that he did a lot of wrong. And he does, he has that little bit of character development at the end, too, where he finally admits that he wasn't doing it for his family, he was doing it for himself. Oh, so you start to feel like, oh, you know, maybe there is good in him, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's just depressing. It's just a depressing ending. Yeah, he did totally break after what happened with Hank. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. But I felt better after El Camino. <laughs> I felt like El Camino was like fan service for the Jesse fans. That's sad, man. I mean, I know Jesse's not a good person either, really. He. He did a lot of bad things, but I still feel sympathy for him. Because he was not the evil mastermind behind it all. He got manipulated a lot. <laughs> but 
Better Call Saul's fan service for Mike fans. Really? Because I'm a Mike fan. Mike was like my favorite. He's like the best character. That would be exciting then to watch Better Call Saul. <laughs> People really like Better Call Saul. I love Mike. Let's go. Let's go. Mike enjoyers. Let's go. <laughs> I want Mike to be my grandpa. I wanted Mike to be Jesse's dad so bad. <laughs> ah, except Mike's not really that good of an influence either for Jesse. I don't know. Jesse is like so impressionable. He needs like a good influence in his life. Well, really. Jesse's like group therapist needs to be his dad. But Jesse kind of like burned that bridge, so. <laughs> but man. Man, Mike's the best influence he could get at that point. It's true. It's true. Ugh. Oh, I loved the Jesse development too at the end. Like he finally um like learned that Walt was using him. And oh my god, when Walt told Jesse that he let Jane die at the end, I was like, why would you tell him that? You just have to crush the last of his spirit. But also, Todd is like the worst person in that whole show. And Todd's whole family. I was, I could not believe like how much I hated Todd and Todd's family. They're awful, just horrible. Like, just the worst. I couldn't believe it. Like, I I wanted them out of the show. <laughs> it's horrible. Todd hate. Todd hate. Oh my goodness. It's, I think it's because... Yeah, he's terrifying. I think it's because he acts so nice even when he's doing, like, the worst things. He, like, is still, like, acting like he's a nice person and, like, acting like he... I don't know. Like he cares. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my friends hate Todd. <laughs> He's scary. Todd's scary. Ooh. Ooh. Scary Todd. <laughs> There's like another movie that I watched with my mom. The, the actor with Todd, act, Todd's actor is in... I forgot his name. His name is Jesse something. <laughs> um, it was the... What's it called? The... Uh, the Power of the Dog is the movie. Jesse Plemons, that's it. And in that movie, he's like so nice. Like legitimately nice. <laughs> but I feel like Breaking Bad ruined it for me because now... <laughs> I can't... I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the actor is great. Also, I think he's married to another... to an actress, and he's... And in that movie, The Power of the Dog, I think she is his wife in the movie too, and that's very cute and wholesome. But yeah, he was very nice in that movie. And especially because he was kind of set up as like the nice counterpart to this other character who was really mean. So you were like, oh, he's so nice. What a kind hearted person. But then I watched Breaking Bad and now I'm like, oh, Todd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kristen Dunst. Yeah, they're married, right? That's so cute. They met on the Fargo set. That's so cute. And now they're, they play like husband and wife together in movies. But why did he have to play such a horrible character in Breaking Bad? Like, the worst. I mean, it's not a horrible character. He's a good character, but he's horrible. <laughs> I'm really feeling spoiled right now. Why didn't no one warn me? Oh, jeez. If only there could be a warning. <laughs> I think that's all I had to say, though. I think... I don't know. <laughs> if Jesse listened to one of my ASMR streams, what would I say to him? I don't know. What can I say to him at this point? I would say, please go back to group therapy because it seemed to be working for you. <laughs> please... Uh, 
to please have a nice normal life for the rest of your existence. <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook. <laughs> Jesse! Jesse! <laughs> uh, that was on Gus. Gus is amazing. Gus is like such a good character. Also, like the final scene with Gus is so good. Gus is probably like, the best part of Breaking Bad. Yeah. Gus is great. But I don't know, it's weird because I was like cheering. I was sort of cheering for Walt still. At his showdown with Gus. Like, you know, in my head, I was still kind of like, you know, I'm cheering for Walt. Like, Walt was the one I wanted to win. But then I kind of regretted it. I was like, mm, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe things would have been better if Gus had won. And just kept, kept Jesse around to cook. <laughs> but no, then maybe Jesse never would have gotten out of the game and made it to Alaska. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Gus is also pretty scary. <laughs> because he also seems so nice, you know? And I fell for it too. I was like, for a long time, I was like, oh yeah, Gus, he's so professional, you know? But then you learn about his backstory and he's kind of like, well, everything with Hector, he's like out for revenge, you know? He's, <laughs> he's scary. <laughs> Such a nice boss, too. I was thinking about that. Like, Gus would be a great boss if you work at the chicken restaurant. <laughs> but if you work for his meth empire, you do not want to work for his meth empire. You have to like the box cutter, you know? That's when it kind of leaks out, you know? But yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's fine if you work for... Uh... What's it called? Los Poyos Hermanos? <laughs> if you work for the chicken franchise, you'll be fine. <laughs> Gail! Oh my gosh, Gail! I was so sad about Gail too. Man, Gail got done so dirty. Gail! <laughs> Gail was such a nice guy. Oh my god. And he... It was like so poetic how Gail's gift to Walt was ultimately his downfall. That's very poetic. The book, you know. And he called Walt his other favorite WW. Oh my gosh. And Walt did him so dirty. Walt, you're the worst friend ever. You're the worst. <sighs> My perfect silence. He was such a nerd. He was such a wholesome nerd. How? Oh, they could have been friends. They could have been friends. Oh, <sighs> man. Man, I know, and Walt had to manipulate Jesse and do it, even though Jesse's not a killer. So maybe he is at the end because he's kind of killing of his own volition. But I don't know, he was broken by the end. I hope that he can turn his life around in Alaska. But that's what El Camino gives you it gives you the, <laughs> the hope that maybe he can. <sighs> Anyway, I think that's all I have to say about Breaking Bad. I think... <laughs> oh, oh, man, 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 man. Jesse at the vacuum repair shop. Another great character is the vacuum repair guy. He's a good character. I liked him. He didn't have much screen time. But when he did, I liked him. <laughs> Am I caught up with Saul? No, I'm not. I do need to watch that, but I have... There's other shows I might watch first. Because I need to watch the new season of Umbrella Academy, which is one of my favorite shows. And I don't know, I feel obligated to watch the new Stranger Things season because I watched the other ones. And I heard the new one's good, but I don't know. Because, like, the, the first season was good and then it was kind of downhill from there. But I don't know, people are saying season four is good, so... I will probably feel obligated to watch it, even if I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Season 4 was amazing. Really? Okay. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. <laughs> the 
new one's like the first. That's good. That's good. Alright, I think that's all I have to say. So no more spoilers in the chat. I'm gonna take the text off the screen and we're gonna read the super chats. Spoiler talk is over. There you go. <laughs> now where's my flimba? Oh, hold on, I forgot. I was playing with my Kalimba and it's not here. I'll go get it. <laughs> I'll go get it really quickly. One second. Yeah, it was just... It was just on the other side of my door. <laughs> um, Can we read the super chats now? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for listening to me talk about TV. It's nice to talk about TV. <laughs> Have people to ramble with. <laughs> um... Carol's, thank you. Steven Adams, thank you. I'm sorry for your headphones. I always wanted those, the like razor headphones that have cat ears on them. The gamer girl headphones. But I don't know, I don't think the audio quality is that good. I have to be serious with my headphone choice. And I have. I actually forget what my headphones are. They're Audio Technicas. I don't know what. Oh wait, it says right on the side there. This one's for all you audio nerds out there. <laughs> they are ATH M fifty X. Is that's what these are? <laughs> Not sponsored. You have those. Nice, nice. They're pretty good. I like them. <laughs> You have them! Oh, Ame has them too? Everyone has them. They're pretty good at entry level. Yeah, I probably could upgrade to fancier ones. Because, I don't know, it's good for ASMR. When you have to edit sensitive audios. Mm. Button is an audio file. I wish I was! I feel like I have a hard time listening. I feel like my ears are not that good. But I think I've gotten better at hearing things. But still, when people are like, Oh, it sounds... This sounds really full. Or they're like, it sounds really crisp. I'm still kind of just like... Hanya? <laughs> I don't know, but... I, I want to get better. It's hard for me. I don't think I have the best ears, but... <laughs> The sound stage! Oh my gosh, yes. It sounds so expansive. <laughs> uh, I wish I could hear better. <laughs> it would make my job easier. But it's okay, I manage. Okay. <laughs> Slice bread, thank you. Bloody good, thank you. Yeah, no worries if you are not watching because you want to play it yourself. Totally understand. <laughs> I wanted to watch Crony. She was playing that game. Dark Deception, I think. I wanted to watch her stream it. But then I was like, oh, but I kind of want to stream this myself. So then I didn't end up watching it. But and I'll stream it maybe. And then I can watch Crony stream it. <laughs> Mr. Avi, thank you. Rocket Goat, thank you. Evan, thank you. 
She refunded it? Really? Was it bad? <laughs> or was it too scary? <laughs> oh, Majinti, thank you. Bishop, thank you. It's bugged? Oh. Oh. It gave her a bad time. You don't think I would like it? Okay, maybe I won't play it then. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Ask her opinion first? Yeah, maybe. Go to see Penumbra? That would be interesting, because I don't know very much about Penumbra. But it's made by the Amnesia devs, right? Who are also the Soma devs, so I'm big fans. Wait, is it actually them, or is it... I can't remember. Or is it like their studio? Definitely play that. It's really good. Scary though. See, I want to see if I can handle it, you know. <laughs> it is that. Was it their first game before Amnesia? <laughs> Sapling Bad, thank you. Kasumono, thank you. Ross, thank you. And 30, thank you very much. Thank you for the amazing raid yesterday. You're the best. Thank you. I don't know if I have it in me to be a leader. <laughs> I don't think I have a very commanding presence that it takes to be a leader. It was fun though. I liked gathering all the stuff for everyone. <laughs> but it's hard to command people. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> Revelance, thank you. Karona, thank you. <laughs> would I raid my raid group? 10 out of 10 Would raid with them again Honestly, I wish I had brought like extra crystals Cause it would have been fun to fight it two times in a row Cause I think, I don't know, I feel kind of bad Like maybe I shouldn't have soloed it as much as I did Well, I don't think I soloed it I don't even think I did that much damage I do think I destroyed a lot of the crystals But I didn't even know if I was hitting the dragon at some points But I feel like everyone was just like confused And didn't know what was happening So probably if they did it again They would understand better And maybe it would be more satisfying For them, you know <laughs> That kind of thing. I don't know, like maybe I did too much, you know? But I just like started and I couldn't stop myself. I was just like, oh no. The longer this wears on, the more of them will die. I have to do it. I have to... I have to try my best. <laughs> Roll step, thank you. Estella, thank you very much for late. Congrats on beating the Ender Dragon. Was too busy laughing the whole time. I'm glad that you thought it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Empty Block, thank you. Ray Bag, thank you. How many of these cats look like Clover? I feel like none of them looked like Clover. Because Clover is a... Brown tabby cat, and I feel like they were all orange tabby cats. Unless I, it was just the lighting or something. <laughs> but I didn't see any, they were clover. Symphonic Soul, thank you. Gnome Silly Prophet, thank you. What would be my warrior cat name? I think I said this, um. In, in Ame's stream. Well, I couldn't remember what I my old warrior cat was called, so I just thought Grass Pop. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I feel like I could think of a good warrior cat name. <laughs> Green Cat. Would I be a kitty pet or a rogue? See, I am of the belief that all cats should be kitty pets. I don't think cats should be strays. I don't think they should be, so... 
All cats must be kitty pets. They must all be literally neutered, but also figuratively neutered. Keep them inside <laughs> where they're safe and where they will not destroy the local ecosystem. <laughs> And give them lots of snuggles. <laughs> but there are a lot of cats who are like actually feral and don't want to be house pets. But those cats can make really good like barn cats, you know? I always like the idea of like a barn cat. A cat that just hangs out in your barn and eats all the mice. <laughs> and you can make sure it's okay and give it medical attention when it needs it. <laughs> Your friend had like eight feral cats. See, that sounds nice. I don't know. And it keeps the creepers away. <laughs> Kizuhara, thank you. Steven Adams, thank you. Majestic Bear Song, thank you. Afro Boopa, thank you. Mystical Sapling, thank you. Mad, thank you. Oh, the cat and stray is based on a real stray cat named Murtaug. Murtaug? Murtaug? The developer has an IRL on the page. I want to see. Bass is kun, thank you. Oh, a bunch of saplings got together for some games of Fall Guys after my stream. Like, that's so wholesome. Aww. <laughs> that makes me so happy. I hope you had fun playing Fall Guys together. Hi, Sharonda. Thank you. Misery, thank you. Killing in my name. I'm honored. <laughs> of course. Abasan, arigato. Just say bear song. Thank you. Cats get so mad when you kiss them on their cute little heads because they are nature's perfect murder machines, but also tiny babies. It's true. It's true. And and you can just pick them up. I don't know. I always think about that when I pick up my cats. Like, I always feel kind of bad for them because, like, imagine from their perspective, like, some big creature just comes along and picks you up and you can't do anything about it. Well, you can, really. They can squirm and scratch, and I would probably drop them, but <laughs> they don't really. But it's like, you can just pick them up, and sometimes I do, and it's like, I just pick them up and take them to another room, and it's like, you can't do anything about this. You are just at my mercy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I always wonder. I carry my cat like a baby, and he can't stop me. See, exactly. What can they do? Nothing. They just have to accept it. <laughs> Killer turtle, thank you. Your cat loves the stream. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Snail also likes to watch TV. He, It's really fun sometimes when I'm watching something. And he's sitting with me because he will, he'll like watch the screen and be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who's his favorite character in Breaking Bad? I don't think he likes Breaking Bad. Snail is kind of a scaredy cat. I think he. Breaking Bad is too mature for him. <laughs> he likes simple stuff. He loves watching Peglin, for example. Which you can probably imagine why. <laughs> Peglin is like a great one for him. <laughs> Which I also like watching Peglin. It's a fun one to watch. <laughs> you played Peglin right now. Let's go. Ishwanda, thank you. Sentient, thank you. Flak Armor, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> T-Dino, thank you. Zoinks, thank you. Luke, thank you. Haven't heard an event of you. Were we three vibes? We three men. <laughs> Spectre Von Baron, thank you. <laughs> A lot of people did mention the human fall flat street. <laughs> chaos, chaos. 
Silver Jolteon, thank you. <laughs> I tried Monster Hunter. I want to like it because it seems like... I don't know. It seems like I could get into it, but the one time I played it, I was just like kind of lost and confused. But I don't know. I want to like Monster Hunter. <laughs> I guess there's just a, like, a learning curve. <laughs> yeah, need friends. <laughs> but also, yeah, I don't like to kill the majestic creatures. Like, if there's even Kirins in Monster Hunter. And why would I want to kill them? <laughs> Spirit Bed, thank you. Yozonan. Arigato gozaimasu! Great feeling, miss! Thank you very much! Toskadu for the ASMR and mom spaghetti! If only the game could let me stay here, right? I like this game. And I'm guessing it's gonna have like a feel-good ending. At least I hope. <laughs> and in that case, that would be so good. G Web Gaming, thank you. Plastic Biscuit, thank you. Nick the Meme Daddy, thank you. Inno Win, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're going to Crunch your Legs Bowl? Let's go. Hope to see you there. Zero Horikawa, thank you. Nama Kemono, thank you. <laughs> Fauna, did you forget the mnemonic for remembering the planets? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Wait, that one is for math. <laughs> What's the one for the planets? I don't know that much about space, evidently. <laughs> I know maybe a bit about what happens on Earth, but <laughs> space is not my domain. My very educated mother showed us nine planets. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Which one is the one about soggy waffles? <laughs> Never eat soggy waffles. Geo Falk, thank you. Not gonna lie, Lanky Kong kinda slaps though. He does! I love Lanky Kong. Lanky Kong got done dirty by that song. Nothing wrong with Lanky Kong. <laughs> Grumble Dog, thank you. Zoinks, thank you. Misery, thank you. Petafania, oh. Oh. Thank you for the pets. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Duck, thank you. I appreciate it. I kind of... I don't know. I feel like I should have thought about it and brought more crystals. We could have totally killed the dragon twice in a row. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Steven Adams, thank you. Random person, thank you. Enjoy your chalky milk. That sounds yummy. I'm hungry. <laughs> Zero Bloop, thank you. I bet some people would pay a lot for a full super spirit bottle. It's just like Skyrim all over again. Lo-Fi Senpai, thank you. Steven Adams, thank you. Amato-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Good morning, Fanya. Hmm, I'm supposed to be in Fanya's stream, but I don't see Fanya. Hey there, sweet little green cat. Let's hear meow. In your cute voice, if you can, please give me a tsundere squeal. A tsundere squeal, like... <laughs> so what's Sundere say? Thanks for all the fun streams. What do Sundere's they go like? <laughs> Angry anime noises. <laughs> Noah, thank you. Stormthorn, thank you. The lack of cat ponchos in this game is a problem and we need to petition the devs. I agree! They thought about like petting the cat. They thought about the piano. They thought about cat knocking things off. But where's the cat poncho? Where's the cat fashion? Four ton mic, thank you. Misery, thank you. Let me consume the flesh. Let me animus. Awesome, Asumta, thank you. Mr. Reed, thank you. 
Luke, thank you. Oh, Stray has any connection to the Half-Life franchise? It sounds like... I don't know. It sounds like Stray has taken a lot of inspiration from a lot of different places. They weave together something really cool, though. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Ninja Star, thank you. That's true. That's true. But is Back to the Future the one where the... The guy ends up, like, flirting with his own... Mom... <laughs> Is that the one? <laughs> yes... 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 <laughs> or his mom ends up flirting with him... Wait, the other way... Oh gosh... <laughs> the mom is the one that flirts... Oh my goodness... <laughs> it kind of makes sense though, right? Because he probably looks like his dad. You know? And so she obviously likes... His dad. <laughs> yeah, like a young version of his dad. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sure the son would... Would... <laughs> anything would be disgusted by the flirting. Mm, Isatya-san, arigato. I'd run the wind, thank you. Sandy Ego, thank you. Zewin Senpai, thank you. It's microtonal music. Interesting. Not 12 EDO equal division of the art. That's interesting. I don't know much about like music or music theory, but it's... Very cool. Pekka, thank you. Zoinks, thank you. You're also watching with your cat in your lap. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Her name is Duck, so every time I was talking to Doc, she looked at the screen like I was talking to her. That's so cute! Hi, Duck. Hi, Duck. Oh, that's a cute name for a cat, too. <laughs> Estella, thank you. Mr. Robbie, thank you. And Steven Abs, thank you. And that's the super chats for today. Um, I don't think I might read the other ones in the next stream. We do have some to catch up on, but I think I will read the Minecraft ones in the next stream. The we have the Sauna ones and the Ender Dragon ones. We are, we are going for a little while today. I was very chatty in the super chat. We had to discuss Breaking Bad. <laughs> you must understand. <laughs> um. Also, I like how the thumbnail... So it has a green outline on it, but it like blends perfectly with the background. Do you see? <laughs> so it looks like the thumbnail is not perfectly square. Do you see what I see? <laughs> you kind of see it? Like where the cat's ear is? <laughs> yeah. Did I plan it? No. Well, this is like my green. My shade of green, you know? I think I just color picked it from the... This art. So it matches my hair. Which matches the background. <laughs> yeah. 3D thumbnail. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, we probably can redirect to someone. There's a lot of streams happening today. Many streams. Let's redirect to Sana. I think I can manage that. Um. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Edit stream. Oh, my mom, mom. But you have to be polite. I know you guys will be polite. Don't be disruptive. Just quietly join the stream. <laughs> no need to spam or anything. But I know you guys will. You guys are always good. <laughs> um. Oh, it's in customization. That's right. That's right. Y 
Yes. Save. I think it works. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> yes. These are your captain's orders, saplings. Please respectfully go watch Sana. <laughs> And Crony and Muna, they're all streaming together. But we're at Sana. Sana na na. Alright, thank you guys for hanging out today. We'll definitely finish this game. I'm glad it's kind of short, so we can probably finish it. Maybe we can even finish it in the next time we stream it. That would be nice. I hope we can. I like it. I want to see how it ends. <laughs> and thanks for the comfy stream. It was really comfy. I mean, what can you expect? <laughs> Um, tomorrow is a big stream! Big stream with everybody! Ooh, very exciting! I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> um, I won't be streaming it on my channel. I think it'll be on Mumei's channel. Um, so please go watch tomorrow. I will tweet about it when it happens. Big stream. Very big. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Um... Tomorrow! Tomorrow! What is the day after tomorrow? I already forgot what I put on my schedule. Oh, are we playing Death Road to Canada? Yeah. I wanted to play that game. Because we can, you can like name... Um, it's like, um... Oregon Trail, or... Oregon Trail. <laughs> I think it's kind of like that. And we can like create characters and name them after... Um... Fellow Ian members. <laughs> I'm excited. Emergent storytelling. Yes, we will see. It should be funny. I think the game has like funny dialogue and stuff. Should be good. <laughs> Rip fellow Ian members. Yeah, it should be. We can watch them fight zombies and maybe die. It should be funny and silly. What was the game? It's called Death Road to Canada. I think the plot is you have to escape Florida and <laughs> go to Canada and during a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, should be fun. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, hanging out. It was fun. I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of your day and I will... Um, see you tomorrow for a big stream. Oh, it's a big stream. Please watch. It'll be fun. You look exciting. Okay, anyway. Bye-bye. Go say hi to Sana. See you later. Bye.